dear students good evening and a warm welcome to csat med easy 2025 series where we discuss the most exam specific questions and concepts from the angle of your csat paper of 25 year i am sachin gopanar and our today's topic of discussion that would be math based reasoning or it can also be considered coding in this way actually okay let's uh, begin the uh, class before beginning the class i will remind you that uh, just like all my previous classes, we will begin the class with a basic question where we will learn basic concept and then we will gradually raise up to exam level questions and also we will concentrate on one particular concept in the topic. Okay. Now let us begin the class. This is your first question. If A circled plus equals 3, 5 circled plus 6 equals 2 and 9 circled 9 is equal to 9 then what is the value of 8 circled plus 7? How do we understand this question? This notation, it simply it signifies some kind of mathematical operation. It can be 1 plus 2 or it can be 1 minus 2 or 1 to the power of 2 or 1 into 2, 1 divided by 2 or some other still complicated, uh, still a bit more complicated operation. So, we need to figure out what is the operation that this notation is doing and then we need to apply, we need to understand, uh, we need to uh, decode, we need to guess and uh, from these three equations and then we need to apply it to this uh, expression, then we will get the answer. Okay. Let us try to, let us try to gauge what this notation is doing in these three equation. Okay. This one is simple, 1 plus 2 is 3. If 1 plus 2 is 3, then 5 plus 6, it should have been 11 and 9 plus 9, it should have been 18, but uh, all the, all of them, they happen to be a single digit uh, numbers. Okay. Let us uh, just try 1 plus 2, that would have been 3. Okay. That checks out. 5 plus 6, that would have been 11, but they have 2. 9 plus 9, that would have been 18, but they have 9. Okay. Can we derive 2 from this 11 and can we derive 9 from this 18? How? It is the sum of digits, right? Here the sum of digits is 1 plus 1, that is 2. Here the sum of digits is 1 plus 8, that is 9. So, we have 2 and 9. So, now we understood what this notation signifies. What it does? It adds the numbers on both the sides and then it adds the digits of the resulted number and gives you the value of, to be the value of that expression. So, we will do the same for 8 and 7, 8 plus 7 that would be 15 and then we need to add the digits 1 plus 5 that would be 6. So, what would your answer be? Your answer would be option B 6. Okay. This is a basic question and we understood how this notation it works. Okay. But this is not the only uh, exp, uh, uh, only operation that that notation can do. It can take any other kind of uh, operation. Okay, we will see what other type of operation it can do, does in the next question. It looks very similar to the previous one. One uh, circled plus equals three. Five circled plus equals one, and nine circled plus equals eight. What is the value of eight circled plus seven? Okay. 1 plus 2 that is 3 once again correct 5 plus 6 that would be 11 but you have 1 9 plus 9 that would be 18 but we have 8 from the knowledge of the previous problem we can guess this one right there they added the digits here they are multiplying the digits 1 into 1 that would be 1 and 1 into 8 that would be 8 and we will do the same for this one. 8 plus 7 that would be 15 and then 1 into 5 that would give us 5. So, what is your answer? Your answer would be option C 5. Let us go to the next question. If 11 circled plus 12 circled plus 13 is equal to 8, 22 circled plus 14 circled plus 3 equals 12 and 34 circled plus 23 plus circled uh, circled plus 17 equals 11 then what is the value of 28 circled plus 17 
circle plus 5 okay uh, let us try some basic operations how it works out. Let us begin with addition 11 plus 12 plus 13. How much it would be? It would be 35, but they have given you 8. Then 22 plus 14 plus 3 that would be 39, but they have given you 12 and 34 plus 23 plus 17 that would be 74 but they have given you 11 I think it is now easy it is again sum of the digits 3 plus 5 equals 8 3 plus 9 equals 12 and 7 plus 4 equals 11 yes and will the do the same for the last expression 28 plus 17 plus 5 that would be how much 28, 28 plus 17 that would be 45, 45 plus 5 that would be 50 and then we will add the digits 5 plus 0 that would again be 5. So, what will your answer be? Our answer would be option A, 5. Okay, the next question, 11, 12 and 13 they give you 6, 22, 14 and 3 they give you 11. 34, 23 and 17, they give you 25, then what is the value of 28, 17 and 5, they are the same number as the previous problem, however, they are giving you different results. Okay. Let us see, 11 plus 12 plus 13, we know that it is 35, it is 35, the first expression, uh, adding them, they will give you 35 and the second one, it will give you 39 and the third one, it will give you 74. But we want 6, 11 and 25, 3 plus 5 would be 8 or 3 into 5 that would be 15, okay, one, uh, no, 3 plus 9 that would be 12, 3 into 9 that would be 27, 7 plus 4 would be 12, oh, sorry, 7 plus 4 would be 11, 7 plus 4 that would be 28, no, that is not working out for us. So, we shall see some other thing, we shall see what can be the plausible explanation for this one adding the digits, adding the numbers and then doing something with the sum, it is, it is not giving us any answer here. I think here we have a clue, 1 plus 2 plus 3 that would be 6. So, is it only the sum of the uh, last digits? 2 plus 4 plus 3 that would be, 2 plus 4 would be 6, 6 plus 3 is 9, no, that is also not happening here. However, 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6 and in all the cases the digit at the tens places it happens to be 1, it happens to be 1. So, can it be like this 1 into 1 plus 1 into 2 plus 1 into 3 then then it would be equal to 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 6, yes it is possible, we shall try it for the second case. What they are doing, what, what I am checking out is the product of the digits of the number and then I am adding them. I am just doing trial and error. If it works out, okay. Then if it, if it does not work out, we will try some other logic. 2 into 2 plus 1 into 4 plus 3. There is nothing to multiply with 3 there. That would be how much? That would be 4 plus 4 plus 3. That would be 8 plus 3. 11. Yes. We got it. We will do the same here also. 3 into 4 plus 2 into 3 plus 1 into 7 that would be how much? 12 plus 6 plus 7 that would be 12 plus 13 that would be 25. Yes. So, we will do the same for this one also. 28, 17 and 5. 2 into 8 plus 1 into 7 plus 5 because nothing to multiply with 5, 2 into 8 would be 16, 1 into 7 would be 7 and 5 will keep it as it is. So, we will have 16 plus 12 that would be 28, do we have a 28? Yes, option D 28 and that is our answer, okay. Now, based on the concepts that you have learnt in these questions, 
do answer this one this question it was asked in the 23 paper it is based on one of the logics that you have discussed in the one of the previous problems okay 7 9 and 10 that will give you 8 9 11 and 30 that will give you 5 11 17 and 21 that will give you 13 then what will be, what will 23 4 and 15 give you the logic behind this question we have discussed it in one of the exact logic we have discussed it in one of the previous problems do try do, do some trial and error and you will get the uh, logic the logic will it will not be very much complicated it will be some addition some multiplication something like that do trial and error if something uh, uh, if it work out for all the three equations then it, will, it should be work out for the it should uh, then you will get the logic behind the how to solve the last expression and do answer this and leave your answers in the comment section we will discuss the answer to this in the next class okay and now it is time to answer the previous classes homework question what was your previous classes homework question it was a question on number system a three digit number abc on multiplication with d gives 37 dd where a b c and d are different non zero digits what is the value of a plus b plus c okay first we shall understand the question a b c it is a three digit number okay then on multiplication with d it will give you 37 dd when a b c and d are, d are different non zero digit so the, all of them are distinct then what is the value of a plus b plus c first we shall convert the statement given in the problem into equation form so a b c it is a three digit number when it is multiplied with another number d sing all of them happen to be single digits you get 3700 dd that is not 37 into d square it is a four digit number 3700 maybe 11 22 33 44 something like that okay okay now we shall express this 37 dd in the form we shall expand it in the form of its actual value as per the decimal system so how will we do that a b c into d that would be 3000 plus 700 plus 10 uh, d plus d because 3 is in thousands place 3000 7 is in 100 plus 700 d is in tens place 10 d and d is again in units place so it would be d so what would it be it would be 3700 and then this would be 11 d so you have the equation a b c into d is equal to 3700 plus 11 d our this does not look like this, this does not look like anything that we can solve easily so what shall we do we shall divide this whole equation a b c a b c into d gives you 3700 d plus 11 d divided by we shall divide it by d then you will have a b c a three digit number is equal to because d and d they would get cancelled 3700 by d plus 11 d by d that would be 11 yes we have a b c equal to 3700 divided by d plus 11 now we shall find the possible values of d that will divide 3700 without any remainder we want such a value for d that will divide this 3700 and give us a uh, whole number of portion because abc because only then you will have rhs whole number then abc lhs is a whole number okay we will we, we will see the factors of 3700 3700 it can be expressed as 37 into 100 so that would be 37 into 10 into 10 that would be 37 into 2 into 5 into 2 into 5 so what are the possible factors of uh, 3700 that uh, d can take the value of d can be based on this one it can be 1 we cannot ignore one though we do not write it d can be legitimately it can be 1 it is a single digit number it can be 1 we shall not ignore it then it can be 2 then it can be 5 then it can be 4 because 2 into 2 but it cannot be 10 5 into 2 that would be 2 digit number 5 into 5 25 no so d can have 4 possible values 1 2 5 and 4 we shall apply each one here and see how it pans out okay we shall try d equals 1 if d equals 1 then what in this equation what will the rhs be your rhs would be 
3700 divided by 1, so 3700 plus 11, so it would be 3711. But on the LHS you have only 3 digit number, but you have 4 digit number, so this is not working out for us. So we will try the next uh, trial, D equals to, if D equals to, then what will your RHS be? 3700 divided by 2, that would be how much? That would be 1500 plus 350, 1850 plus 11, again you got 4 digit number, so this is also not working out for us. We will try D equals 5, D equals 5, if D equals 5, then what will the value of 3700 be? That would be uh, 370 into 2, that would be how much? It would be 740. 740 plus 11, do 3700 by 5, by 5, do the calculation, it would be 740, okay. 740 plus 11, that would be how much? 751. So, what is your LHS? Your, your, your LHS is ABC, ABC is 751, okay. We got it to be 751, however, a, B, C and D are different, here A is 7, A is 7, but B is 5 and we assume D also to be 5, so this is also not giving us our answer, so we shall try the remaining one combination, we'll, uh, that would be D equals 4, if D equals 4 in this equation, what will the RHS be? The RHS would be 925 plus 11, yes, 3400 divided by 4, that will give you 925, okay. 925 by 11, that would be 936, that will give you how much? 936, okay. And the LHS, LHS is ABC, yes. So, what will the value of A be? A would be 9, B would be 3 and C would be 6, okay. And uh, D happens to be 4, none, all of them are non-zero and none of them are repeating, so all of them are uh, different, okay. Now, the question is asking us, so what is the value of A plus B plus C? What is the value of A plus B plus C? That would be 9 plus 3 plus 6, that would be 18, yes, so your answer is 18, option A, okay. I hope that you learned something through this uh, class. I, I think this one was a bit difficult, but do watch it again and you will get the uh, understanding of it. Uh, I hope that you found this class useful, I hope that it was beneficial to you. If you like the class, do. Uh, like uh, the video on YouTube, then do watch us regularly. We upload one episode every evening and do share the YouTube link to this video or uh, to your friends through WhatsApp group and Telegram groups. All the best and most of all, a happy studying.